good evening. It's JB here with a, a real special treat for you here. Uh, we're going to be doing a full audio commentary of the recent uh, of the fight from Saturday night between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, the second fight. And remember, the first fight ended in a controversial draw, which I felt Tyson Fury won anyway. But uh, this was a real opportunity for him to put a, uh, to put that put that right. He had the chance of redemption. Uh, They've been waiting over 18 months for this fight, and on Saturday night they've got to do it uh, over in Las Vegas. And I'm going to bring you full commentary of the fight, and of course everything that goes with it. Uh, and uh, um, it was a fight that I really enjoyed commentating on. It was a really good fight, very, very enjoyable. So let's get up over to Las Vegas on Saturday night, uh, uh, last, uh, the Saturday night just gone. It was a fantastic atmosphere, and we're going to join the fight with the announcements from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Controversial split decision. 
And both fighters going into this. Spiri's lost one. Deontay Wilder's lost one. Wilder six foot seven inch. Tyson six foot nine. So they're not middle men by any stretch of the imagination. This for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World from Las Vegas. Tyson Fury. Well, when he beat Clutch Go, he's had to come overcome a lot of problems with mental health and stuff. But uh, he's, he's, in, he's six fights into his comeback and he's got a chance of redemption. And if he can win this fight, who knows? A possible meeting in the summer with Anthony Joshua could be... A real, could be a real sensational fight. But we won't we'll know this until after this fight. There might even be the possibility of a third match between these two. Who knows? The first one was a good fight. Fury gets us underway in round number one. They're both underway. Fury in the darker short. In the, uh, Fury of Britain. No knockdown rule and no standing eight count. Instant replay available, can't be saved by the bell, and only the referee can stop the fight. Them are the rules, so no free down rule in effect tonight. Just to remind you of the shorts, uh, Bury's the guy with the Gypsy King shorts on. Looking to win the world title for the, a different version of the world title. Of course, former... WBA, W. He's won all, all the uh, unified belts before, so he's looking to win the WB, uh, the WBC, which is as a, there's a couple of good shots there from Wilder, just in the face of Fury there, right at the start. Remember, scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds, so we've had a minute of the first. Even contest so far as Fury comes in with a couple of jabs and then a right, and then a right up towards the ear of. Deontay Wilder. Both fighters now just. It's almost like a chess match a little bit in this opening round. Looking to try and feel each other out and try to. It's almost as if they're shadow boxing. And Fury's got him up by the ropes. And he's laying in there with a couple of left and right hook show punches. And then goes from one towards the nose, which just narrowly missed Wilder's nose. Now he's gone for a little chest shot at Wilder. Of course, Fury backed by 20,000 uh, fans who have paid good money to come across the pond here to Las Vegas. One of the five capitals, of course, of the world. It's always a great sight to see. Uh, Frank Warren hoping his man, Fury... And do the business. We're inside the final minute. 47 seconds to go of this first round. As I say, scheduled for 12. It's been an even, it's been an even uh, first round so far. Couldn't possibly call it. Fury absolutely enjoying his night's work here at the moment. Not faced by anything. He said he's in good shape. I know Wilder has said that. Oh, Wilder again. Good chest shot there towards the. Rip there, Fury, and Fury hit him back with a good straight right hand towards the face of uh, Deontay Wilder with 12 seconds to go on this opening round. This is a decent start, and Fury trying to, with a few couple of wild left and right hooks, and the bell ends. Fury holds his right arm up and a sort of a salute to his. Mecca of fans here in Las Vegas. So they'll have a, a minute's wash and brush up at the start. Uh, Deontay Wilder said a lot of horrible things about Fury, saying that uh, he's got uh, pillow side punches. He, he punches like a pillow. Well, <laughs> I think Fury looks in a very good shape. He looks in very good nick for this fight. Although Wilder put in a couple of nice shots there towards the end of that. Uh, Round. They're both putting a couple of good shots each during that first round, I have to say. Big crowd here for this uh, fight in Las Vegas, the gambling Camb capital of the world. So, we're all, all set to go then for round number two. 
Referee Bayless calling both uh, men off the stool. And here we go. Fury fighting out the red corner. Wilder fighting out of the blue corner. Into the round two. Scheduled, as I say, for 12 rounds. Again, just a little bit of shadow boxing here to start with. This uh, really is uh, going to be a. As I said, it was uh, the build-up was uh, fantastic. It was very show business-like, and uh, uh, they do they don't do uh, anything other than show business over in this part of the world. Well, there's much doubt about that. Good, uh, good little uh, straight left hand there from uh, Fury towards the nose of uh, Wilder. Got a good scoring shot, and again another good, another good straight punch again. Good straight left hand towards the nose of Wilder by Fury, and then Fury. Has to take a right hook there. Potential right hook from Wilder. Now this fight's beginning to hot up. Fury biding his time. Takes another shot and then another good right jab. Left hand jab there towards the face of Wilder. And Wilder, he's been packed into the ropes and then they clinch. The crowd are getting absolutely bang up for this now. A minute and 45 to go in the second. And Fury here looks in good shape. Just got to bide his time and he looked for that one shot that might get Wilder on the floor. He certainly had the majority of the last fight, which which I thought was Judge poorly. Now Fury looking to hit where it hurts. He's looking to wind up that right hook to, of uh, Wilder. Wilder just backing off a little bit, but getting one or two left jabs in. Towards the face of Fury. What a block there. That attempted left jab there. Blocked very well by Fury. Oh, what a good right hook there by Fury. And I tell you what, Wilder took that shot very, very well. Then they get into a clinch inside the middle of the ring. And referee barely seemed to try and break it all up. This is a good fight. It's now Wilder swinging a few there towards the side of Fury's head. The left-hand side of Fury's head. 43 seconds to go in this second. And another good punch there by Fury towards the face of Deontay Wilder. That time the left hand. Both boxers really going at it hammer and tongues. Another good shot with the left hand fist there by Fury. And then he blocks an attempted jab there by Wilder in return. And he's got Wilder on the ropes here, Fury. And Wilder gets into a clinch. And he doesn't look nimble on his feet there, Delta Wilder, I must say. Ten seconds left of round two. And I would say, if you were gonna, if I was going to score this, I think I'd just about give it a fury. Although Wilder's swinging, but missing on a few. And they get him into a neutral corner. And the bell is gone. And Bell is in there to sort him out. Oh, he got a bit fisticuffs there for a moment. He almost turned into a match broke. Wow, what an ending to the second round. Both back to the corner, but Fury got him almost in a neutral corner, and then they started almost wrestling each other there in that neutral corner. And, uh, well, anyway, here's the corner for Deontay Wilder, trainer Mark Brayland, trainer and the cut man, Jay Diaz, and Hill is an overcut man. Tyson Fury... Let's have a look at his corner, shall we? Get in the wash and brush up, of course. Water and Vaseline only allowed in corners these days. We'll get a we'll get a, a word or two about their corner men in a minute, but we've seen Wilder's uh, cut men anyway. Watch the heads, says referee Bayless, and away we go in the third. Wilder has thrown 34 and landed 10, but uh, a percentage of 29%. Fury has thrown 31 jabs and has landed with 10. It's got a better ratio, 31%. We're into the third. 20 seconds gone in the third then. Fury may just be aging at the moment, but he's looking very, very good. Trying to stalk Wilder if he can. And Wilder having it back off, and Fury going for him, up a cup there, and Fury punches, and Wilder again having to get into a clinch just to keep himself going. He does not look good here, the, 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 the current champion. 
The Gypsy King looking supreme form. Good right hook. But Wilder took the shot very, very well. Certainly Fury spiked the firmly minute. We've had a minute gone and I would say, if I was scoring it at the moment, I would say Tyson Fury's edging this one by a, by a mile just about here because he's throwing more shots towards the body and face of Deontay Wilder. 70 seconds gone. Good shot again with the right hand by Fury. And again, Wilder took it well. Then they get into another clinch, almost a headlock there. Referee breaks them up and instructs them to box on. Again, they get into another clinch after Wilder tried to throw one or two punches himself. What a fight this has been. And then what can Fury produce here? Again goes for the left jab and connects second time of asking. First one missed, but he got the second one in and he scored well in another Left hand jab again. The left jab proving very good. And then again, a good right hand again towards the ear of Deontay Wilder that time. I think there's blood coming out of one of Wilder's ears as well. I just noticed there. And again, he's aiming towards that ear. I think it's the left hand ear that he's cut there De of Deontay Wilder. 45 seconds to go of round three. And I would have to say that Fury has got down to Wilder. Dare I say, well, oh, I think it's knocked him over. What a right hook. And Wilder came on the floor there. Definitely a knockdown. And now he's going to get the mandatory eight count, the champion. What a shot from Fury. In fairness to Wilder, he got back on his feet very quickly. And now Fury can sense it now. He can sense it and he's got... Wilder down there, and Wilder goes over and then tries to take Fury out there. But that's not a knockdown, the, the referee's not going to count that. Five seconds to go of round number three, and that's certainly Fury's round. But absolutely certain is it's worth the two fighters square up to each other. Wow. What a climax again. Even more so the third one, as opposed to the second one. Wow, we. So everything just calms down for a minute or two. <laughs> Even I got a little bit uh, excited there in the commentary box. So it's just seen, I've just seen one or two replays here of the knockdown. It was a right hook, I believe, towards the ear of Wilder. He had spent most of that round. There's the left. It was a left and left and right hand combo that uh, did for Wilder there. That's where the first knockdown, and then the second first punch to the left hand side, and then. Well, to the right hand side, there was the left hook, then the right to the left ear of uh, Deontay Wilder, which I think is still very badly cut. And Fury's wife there, <laughs> and a pretty red dress, sparkly red dress there, was up and at him as we go into round number four. Certainly, if you were scoring it on points as they clinch again, I think Fury got one or two uppercut shots in there as well. Which uh, Wilder took well, but he doesn't look nimble on that on his feet there, uh, Wilder. I've got to say, Fury being warned, both of them being warned there by the referee. He's not going to stand for any nonsense, referee Bayless. Let's then box on again. Twenty seconds gone. Then in the uh, fourth, Fury with one knockdown to his name. Wilder did go down twice, but uh, the second one was actually a slip. In fairness, he didn't get the mandatory eight. Oh, and another good left hand combo, left right hand combo. And Wilder took them, but it's not them on his feet there. And it's just a case of when that. Oh, Fury's got him again! Just a little jab. And Wilder went flying backwards on his, under the canvas there on his backside. But he's up again and fighting. I think the referee may have decreed it as a slip. Well, it looked a decent knockdown to me. But three times now, Wilder's been on the floor, or being twice, two of them have been slips. One minute 45 to go of the fourth. Scheduled for 12 rounds. They both clinch again. Referee in there to sort them out. Then Wilder tries a bit of a wild right hand towards Fury, which Fury blocks up, up and then they get into another clinch 
Well, they're trying to buy some time here because he's right up against him. It's on points now. Fury's winning this by a country mile. But what Fury mustn't do here as he comes, it takes a good left hand there from uh, Wilder. What Fury mustn't do here is get complacent. He's got Wilder where he got him. Oh, there we go again. He's got, him on, he's got Wilder on the ropes here. The world's the current champion doesn't know what day it is at the moment. Well, this really is turning into a great night potentially for Tyson Fury. His road to redemption from all those problems he had personally. He's fought hard. He's worked hard. Remember his last fight he won on points, but he had to have something like 48 stitches in the, his left eye. Could hardly see out of it after the last contest, but he... he well, they quickly healed up and he's looking in mean, lean, physical shape for this. 25 to go. We had two dramatic climax in the final two rounds. Are we going to see another thrilling climax to the, uh, to the fourth? Or are we going to see a more quieter end to the fight? They're clinching again. They're clinching again. Both fighters here. 10 seconds left then of round four. Fury again looking for one punch that could end it all now. But while they're now throwing one or two that didn't connect as the bell sounds for the end of the fourth. And that was actually more of a quieter end of the fight than the, pre the round than the previous two rounds put together. And I've had dramatic endings in their own way. So Fury's corner trainer, Sugar Hill Stewart, assisted by Andy Lee, assisted by George Capella, and the cut man is Jacob. Um, Let's just uh, check that again, actually. And the cut man is Jacob Stitch Duran. And that's in Tarzan Fury, as I say, in the red corner. And he, if it was, I think if I was the man, if I was judging this now, if I was a judge at ringside, there are three judges, of course. If a referee doesn't score the contest, I should also, uh, I should also add, as we see one or two of them, a bit more of a quieter round than the ones before. I think this was from the third where he had him down a couple of times. It did slip over there for me. And I think the referee was in there indicating straight away. I got excited. I thought it was a knockdown. Anyway, they're going to come back out now for the fifth. Round five then. And the bell sounds. I went to the fifth round. Round number five then. And Fury again, good right in his hand. And then a left hand towards the face of Wilder. And Wilder's on the ropes. And he's having to get into a glitch to survive. And then he hit, gets a right hand over the top of Fury's head. And Fury, the battle here he is. Sucks it up very, very well. And into the last two and a half minutes of this fifth round. Remember, it's scheduled for 12 rounds, this. This for the WBC. And, of course, the vacant ring title, and he now heavyweight titles, but the WBC one is the one that Fury really wants. And if uh, Anthony Joshua's watching along at home, and he's really dead, he's got his heart's dead set on this, of, of a match with Tyson Fury, then I think, um, and I think, oh, Fury's got him! Fury's got him down! Just a couple of jabs, and then another left, a sort of half left hook, and Wilder just went down on the canvas on his backside. There, uh, he's taken another mandatory hate count from uh, referee Bayless. That twice now he's had him on the floor. It's just a shame, really, for Fury that the free knockdown rule is not in effect for this fight. Because if he knocked him down again, he would have been stopped automatically. But uh, those aren't the rules. No. Nope. And the number two, he's got him out of ropes again. Fury's got this in the pocket. And Wilder's legs are like Jerry in a... Are like Jerry. He just can't seem to stay on his feet for too long. Fury with a good left hand combo again. Had, and it's just a it's just a miracle that Wilder had the ropes there to keep him upright. Otherwise, if he hadn't, he would have gone. It would have been more 
Ball Central. They'll be fighting in the centre of the ring. It's just to the right of the ring. Or to the left of the ring, rather. 45 seconds to go, incidentally. Then I think that might have been it. But the ring has saved him. <laughs> Look at that. He's had power punches in this round. 12. And he's got a 50% ratio as well, Fury. And Wilder hasn't even thrown one power punch at all. That's how domineering Fury has been in the fight. 22 seconds to go. Oh, he's taking a point off. Low blow. Fury's fans do not like that. Although Fury, in fairness to him, does accept the decision. Although his 20,000 army or so of fans didn't agree with uh, referee Bayless's decision. But I think he was right anyway. Not it's going to bother Fury too much because he's got uh, Wilder more truly in his pocket. With seven seconds to go, he's slugging it now. And Wilder trying to stay in this round. And uh, refereeing a little bit premature to get in there. He almost got covered by one of the boxes himself. Had to duck out of the way as the bell sounds for the end of the fifth. So Fury's had a point taken away, but he's had a couple of knockdowns as well. And Fury here, he's up against it. There's no doubt about that. Look, I'm just looking there. He's got a cut left and a cut left ear. That does not look good, I'm afraid, for the Ontario Wilder. And the cut men will have to do a, a real repair job now in the remaining sort of 30 seconds that remain before round six reconvenes. Remember, it's water and Vaseline, and of course they've got those cut, um, they've got those um, those things that you uh, use for the swelling. But uh, Fury, I tell you what, he looks in mean condition tonight. He's He's, he's not called the Gypsy King for nothing. And if he defrauds the Ontario Wilder within 12 rounds, let alone, I think if he goes to 12, I think he'll win anyway. Wilder really needs to put up a serious fight and battle now as we go into the sixth round. Punches last round. Wilder only landed three. Well, Fury landed 20. Obviously, he's got a better percentage. Again, Fury started as if he finished the last round. Wilder on the ropes. And Wilder trying to clinch his way up out of trouble and that's what he's got to do now Wilder survive it and maybe just take it to 12 rounds and see what happens but at the moment as things stand I think Fury would be winning in any way on points just a little bit of a wrestling match going on in the red corner nearest to us in the com box tell you what you'd be paying upwards of about a thousand dollars for a ringside seat here Tell you what, you, you've got your money's worth for this one. One thing Fury does put on is a very good show for his uh, followers and uh, anyone who pays a good amount for a ticket. And again, he's got Wilder on the road, so Wilder just doesn't know what to do. He said, the only way he's doing it is by clinching and holding on to Fury and just hoping he can buy himself some time because that's all he's, that's his help now. And if he does go 12 rounds, Fury's got him won by the short and Kelly's in my book. I know it might be a premature of me even as a commentator to say that. And I might be a bit British biased, but there's a few American commentators saying that uh, Wilder's... They still believe that Wilder can do it. Yeah, of course, boxing's... Anything can happen in boxing. And we've seen fighters who have dominated the first sort of nine or ten rounds get absolutely poax in the final round. But at the moment, I can't see anything other than a Fury victory. The way things are going, Fury's got this fight won. All he's got to do is show a little bit of professional's care and just make sure he doesn't make mistakes. A minute to go in the six. And Fury again, uppercuts again. In, got him in that neutral corner. Nearest to us on the right hand end of the corner. Or the ring, I should say. Again, referee in there to sort them out. 40 seconds to go of round six. Fury, in my opinion, winning on points. And that's my own unbiased opinion. And that cut again, that cut here, left here. I can see very visible again. And another good right hand there from, left hand there from Fury. Connected well. He's scoring with some very good shots, Tyson Fury. 
Can they get onto a clinch towards the right hand end? And of course, there's a bit of a little bit of blood on Fury's face, but I think that's from the cut of Deontay Wilder more than any cut that uh, Fury may have uh, sustained. So we're going to the closing stages of round number six, and the bell sounds. That was a good left hook, which Wilder actually took very well as the bell sounds again. That was just before the bell. So we now have another break. And look at that. I'm just saying, is he trying to lick blood off him now? Or is he trying to lick him? I don't know what he's trying to do there. But Fury's an absolute character. And look at that blood coming out of Wilder's ears. I think the longer this fight goes on, I think the referee may have to stop it. There's also the couplet to consider. But as we come up towards... Seventh round time, it's really going to be, well, they say it's an endurance battle. Just imagine if this was in the old days of Muhammad Ali and George Foreman, and it was going 15 rounds. My goodness me. <laughs> As we just see the girl there signaling with the round balls, round number seven. Pure is already out of his corner, ready for round number seven. So to his wilder. And uh, referee Bale is just de delaying it a second now. He, he says, let's go. Round seven then. Of 12 for the WBC World Heavyweight crowd. And here goes Fury again. Another good left hand towards the face of uh, Deontay Wilder. Now, can he get him into a neutral corner here and finish the job off? Remember, Fury, Fury has had Wilder down at least twice. In the, in the earlier rounds. And him down in rounds two and rounds four. Rounds two and four. Again, stalking his man, waiting for the right time. Again, a good left hand towards the nose of uh, Deontay Wilder. He did connect. Wilder on Fury's punches. Be right. I do not respect his power. He says he throws punches like pillars. Well, he's soon got a harsh lesson in that. Maybe his words. Just about coming back to haunt him because Fury's got this fight. May I say by the short and carries at the moment. As, uh, again, Fury goes in for the finish, but there was the clinch there. Wilder hanging in there, just clinching towards his opponent. 1.45 to go in round seven. 1 minute 40, I should say, of round seven to go. Wilder of the US of A. Fury, uh, sort of an away match for him, but he's got his... Big brand of supporters. I know most of the fight fans are cheering for the challenger. Good body shot there with the left hand there. And now Fury going in there for the kill. And he gets in there. Fury punches. Will the referee stop it? He's got to stop it. Fury is the world heavyweight champion of the world. Holds his head stopping. Absolute delight. Hugs his corner man. Tyson Fury has become the WBC world heavyweight champion. And the anti Wilder's dreams are surpassing the great Muhammad Ali by going 12 defences and beating is over. And the road to redemption is complete for the Gypsy King from Asham in good old Lancashire. Tyson Fury's done it. Born in Manchester, moved to Haysham. Just outside of Morecambe in Lancashire, England. And the man, the Mancunian, the Lancastrian, has shown what a warrior he is. All six foot nine inches of him. And that is, and I have to say, he should have got the justice in the first fight. He should have won the first fight, really. The judges' controversial scoring stopped him from doing so because he was a split draw. And justice wasn't done that night, but I think it's fair to say that justice for once in the fight game has been done tonight. Titan Fury is the new, and deservedly so, WBC heavyweight champion. And just what, what it means to him and his corner man. And it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. This man is a warrior. There's no two ways about that. Fantastic fighter, fantastic boxer, 
And maybe, just maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's probably the best performance I've ever seen from Tyson Fury, maybe in his whole career. Wilder, obviously very disappointed. Sat on his stool, but he had him in a neutral corner. Tyson Fury, obviously delighted, and some of, and he's, in fact, he's been a very good sport by coming up to to one or two of the um, Wilder camp, and he's shown a bit of respect there, the new champion, and I, I admire him for that. I really do. A fantastic performance, and Fury has done it. And this will go a long way now. Will we get Joshua on? I think a lot of the British public will be asking, will Joshua Fury happen now? Or will Wilder decide to go for a third fight with uh, Tyson Fury? Well, those questions remained unanswered. That's down to the people like Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren who co-promoted this fight tonight. Wilder Blooded, bruised, and defeated. But it's Tyson Fury. Let's have a look at the replay. Again, just left and right combos. And it was just too much. Uh, got Wilder in a neutral corner. It was just too much for the for the, uh, for the old WBC champion. And in the end, Fury did enough. Fury, in fact, weighed in at 273 pounds. The heaviest he's ever weighed in his career and the leanest he's ever looked in his career as well. Both got $5 million for the purse. And my goodness, anyone that steps into a ring that earns that type of money gets my respect. Because they've slugged it out there for seven or eight rounds tonight. It's been a slugfest, but his fury has come out on top. And I think he would have won by points anyway if he had gone 12 rounds. But let's proclaim that Tyson Fury is the world heavyweight champion. From me, JB, take care, and we'll see you soon. From me, good night.